Hello everyone. Now we will start with a new topic and our new topic is dynamic functions using PF status. So many people ask about this particular topic and now it's a turn to cover this topic and one of the important concept. We all know we are creating our own functions using PF status. How we are creating our own functions? We are simply writing the statement, set PF status. We are giving some name to the PF status. We are creating and we are giving our own functions. Now, what is the meaning of dynamic function? Firstly, word itself is saying, it means functions are not fixed. Depends upon the condition, the functions are changing. Suppose for this particular condition, customer want only this function. For this particular condition, customer want only these functions. It means functions are dynamic in nature. Suppose if I will go for the system, we will see in the system and we will develop same kind of program. Suppose this is the program and I am giving the input suppose sales order number. And I have three radio buttons, save, transfer and post. Now what customer is saying, whenever save radio button is ticked, customer want only save button in the application toolbar. Now whenever transfer radio button is ticked, Customer want only transfer button in the application toolbar. Whenever post radio button is ticked, customer want only the post button in the application toolbar. It means depends upon the selection of the radio button, we are displaying only those function in the application toolbar. It means functions are dynamic in nature. Whenever we will create our own functions, we need to create all three, save, transfer and post, but depends upon these radio buttons, we only only want to display that specific function. So this is our dynamic display using PF status or we can say dynamic display of functions using PF status. Whenever practical part will start, you will automatically get the more clarity and huge amount of learning will be there into this particular topic. Now, we will take same to same kind of requirement. We have three functionalities into this program. Save, transfer and post. Whenever save radio button is ticked, customer want only save button in the application toolbar. Whenever transfer radio button is ticked, customer want transfer button in the application toolbar. Whenever post radio button is ticked, customer want post button in the application toolbar. This is our requirement and we will develop same kind of program. So I will go to SC38 transaction code. Suppose I will give some name to the program. Suppose Z, suppose I will go for Z dynamic display or we'll say dynamic functions. We'll write Z demo on dynamic functions. And widely used requirements, same kind of requirement is always in the projects, yes. Now I will give that title, Demo on Dynamic Functions. I will choose the type as executable program and I will go for save. Suppose I will save this as a local object. I will take a select option for the sales order number. Suppose I am writing S underscore VBELN for LV underscore VBELN. I will declare this LV underscore VBELN. 
टाइप बीबीएलएन अंडरस्कोर बीए आई विल क्रिएट थ्री रेडियो बटन्स सेव ट्रांसफर एंड पोस्ट पैरामीटर्स यू ऑल नो व्हेन एवर आई वांट टू क्रिएट रेडियो बटन्स आई विल क्रिएट विद द हेल्प ऑफ पैरामीटर्स सपोज नेम ऑफ द फर्स्ट रेडियो बटन पी अंडरस्कोर आर वन टाइप सी रेडियो बटन ग्रुप आर वन you all know yes radio buttons belongs to one radio button group if you want more clarity you can simply refer the playlist of a bab programming part 1 i will do control d to duplicate the line p underscore r2 radio button group is same i will go for p underscore r3 radio button group is same i will provide the selection text go to text elements selection text this one i will take from ddic reference and i will provide the text suppose this is our save this is our transfer and this is our post i will simply activate this group i am activating the selection text now whenever i will run the program our input is ready now what i will do will simply simply fetch the data from vb ak table we'll go for simple program because anyways we are not going for any further functionality our target is how we can display only the selected functions depends upon the requirement how we can go for dynamic functions so i will simply create a structure begin of you if you want to go for new syntaxes you can use new syntaxes suppose i am taking 3 to 4 columns from vb ak table vb eln er dat er zed et er na if you have not remembered the data element you can simply open the table in vbak you can simply open the table in a new session and you can use copy paste from there it's so that is the best way to create a structure i remember the data element so i simply written in the same way i am just ending this particular structure i will declare the internal table and i will declare the work area i will check the syntax up to this level and i will activate now whenever i will click on to this button you all know start of selection event will trigger so i will write a select query as a part of start of selection i will write select b b e l n e r dat e r z e t t e r num from b b a k table i will store into internal table and i will give the where condition where b b e l n in s underscore b b e l -N. i will put a loop statement and i will display into lw a data and loop now i will simply go for write state lw a data i pen e b b e l n e r dat e r z e t t and e r na now we'll check the syntax and activate up to this level suppose sales order number is mandatory so i'm using the keyword obligate 
whenever I will execute. Now, suppose I am giving one to five and I am executing. Now you can see we are able to see that. Now, as of now, whenever save radio button is ticked, customer want save button in the application toolbar. Whenever transfer radio button is ticked, customer want transfer button in the application toolbar. Whenever post radio button is ticked, customer want post button in the application toolbar. As of now, SAP functions are coming. This is our menu bar, application toolbar, title bar. Now we want to create our own functions. You all know whenever I want to create our own functions, how we can create. We will go for set PF status. We will give some name to the PF status. And I will simply write this statement as a part of start of selection only because whenever you are clicking on to the execute button, suppose if I will, whenever I will click on to the execute button, after that only we want the function. So I will write this as a part of start of selection. I am writing set PF status. I will give some name to the PF status. Suppose I am writing Suppose functions, you can give any name, it is totally your wish, but please, please put in capital. We'll simply double click. I will go for yes. It is asking, do you want to create GUI status? Yes, we want to create GUI status. Suppose I will write GUI status. We'll go for okay. Now, we want to go for application toolbar. So, I will simply expand application toolbar. And here, I will create three functions. One for post, one for transfer, one for save. Because I have three video buttons. After that, yes, we will simply, simply hide the two functions. Depends upon the radio button selection. But ultimately, firstly, we need to create three functions. So I will create three functions. Firstly, we'll go for save. I will go for double click. This is very important because it will act as a function code. Yes, I will go for OK. Now, suppose function text is same to same. I will choose some icon. This part is fully, fully explained in a BAP programming part two. If you do, if you don't know this process, you can refer that playlist. Suppose I will go for relevant icon, save. I will go for find next, find next. Okay, this is okay. I will give some information. Suppose to save the data. I will go for continue. I will take some shortcut. Suppose we'll give the icon text also save. We'll go for OK. Now I will go for next button, transfer. I will double click. Yes. I will go for function text. Now I will choose a relevant icon, transfer, I will go for find next, okay, we'll take this, we'll give the information text to transfer the data. I will take some shortcut. And we will go for same icon text. Now I will go for third functionality, post. You can see whatever we are writing, it is acting as a function code. Now function text, we'll choose some relevant icon, post. 
this is will take will give some information text to post the data okay we'll take some shortcut we'll go for same icon text we will activate now whenever we will go for now running of the program so we have three functions in the application toolbar we create our own GUI status and we have three functions in the application toolbar. If I will go for input, if I will execute, you can see we have three functions and SAP functions are not there now. You can see these all are disabled. Previously, we have so many in the menu bar. Now they are not there. I will just enable this back button. That is a part of function keys. If I will simply go, I will write, I will enable the back. So I have simply written back. I will go, go for running of the program. One, two, five. Now you can see back button is enabled and we have three functions. But our requirement is we want to go for dynamic display. Dynamic functions. It means whenever this radio button is ticked, these two functions should not be visible. Whenever transfer radio button is ticked, this and this should not be visible. Whenever this post radio button is ticked, this and this should not be visible. So now in the next video, we will simply learn how we can exclude other two radio buttons because our topic is this only. How we can go for dynamic functions, how we can only only display the selected function and project has so many kind of requirements like this only. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we started with one of the most important concept, how we can go for dynamic functions using PS status. Dynamic functions means what? Functions are not fixed. Whenever conditions are changing, functions will also change. So as a part of this, we have taken the requirement that Whenever save radio button is ticked, customer want only save button in the application toolbar. Whenever transfer radio button is ticked, customer want transfer button in the application toolbar. Whenever post radio button is ticked, customer want post button in the application toolbar. So as a part of that, we have simply simply created the selection screen. We have one select option for sales order number. We have three radio buttons which belongs to one radio button group. We have written the logic and we have displayed that data. After that, we want to go for our own functions. So I have simply written the statement set PF status, name of the PF status. Sim -sim system asks to create the GUI status and we have created three buttons in the application toolbar. We enabled the back button in the function key. So as of now, everything is visible. In the next video, we will learn how we can exclude the buttons, exclude the functions, depends upon the requirement. And then we will learn also how we can go for dynamic text. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.